Welcome back to another episode of Young Adult Problems. Um, I am so hungry right now. I just woke up a few minutes ago. I went to wash my face and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go eat breakfast, sit down, watch some YouTube. But then I was like, wait, the house is empty. This is my prime time to be recording the podcast while nobody can hear me. So here's where I am right now recording this podcast. Um, Welcome. Today, I wanted to talk about feeling invisible. Going through your whole life feeling unimportant. Since you can remember, elementary school, middle school, high school, all the way through college and your adult years, it's like for some reason, no matter what you do, nobody notices you. Maybe throughout your life, people have been always telling you, you're so quiet, oh my gosh, like why are you so quiet? You never talk. Why do people feel the need to point that out? Maybe it's just a part of my personality, but it's like the only thing you hear from other people. They don't say anything else about you. It's like your whole identity and the only thing people know you as is being the quiet kid and you can't break out of that. And then you associate with being quiet, being invisible, and that just follows you throughout the rest of your life. You know, maybe you feel like the background character in every group setting, whether it's a group setting with your friends where... You're the only one not contributing to the conversation because everybody is laughing without you. And it's hard to break through that barrier where everyone seems like they're having such a great time and, you know, you you feel like you don't even need to be there. And so you just stay in the background and, you know, quietly laugh along with whatever everyone else is saying. Maybe it's group work for school where everyone's huddling in a circle talking about you know, working on the project or not. Maybe they're the popular kids talking about life and you're kind of there just like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do my portion of the work. And nobody, nobody even acknowledges you for the hour that your group is supposed to be working on the work together. Or even in the real world, like let's say if you're working and you join a virtual meeting and some colleague decides to greet some other people and for some reason, doesn't greet you even though your name is right there on the screen and not any less visible than anyone else's name it's like for some reason something in this world is just making you feel so invisible and it's exhausting people ignore you whenever you do want to say something people talk over you as if you're not even there it can happen so much that you just accept it as your personality you're like okay I I know I'm the quiet kid like I'm just going to stay quiet at this point like there's nothing else I can do. One of the things that annoys me the most about feeling invisible is that people don't remember your name and maybe you're the only person in the group whose name was forgotten. Throughout life so many people have asked me what's your name again? Who are you? And like we've clearly met before. We've clearly had conversations, but for some reason, people would not be able to remember my name. People would forget that we had spoken in the past. You know, I went to, um, uh, I went to go hang out with some people the other day, and there were a few people there that I had met multiple times in the past, but, you know, I wasn't close with them or anything, but they were at this event, and someone had introduced me and this other girl, and they were like, oh, this is, this is Emmy, Emmy, meet this person, and I was like, oh yeah, hi, and I knew that person, like, we had hung out multiple times throughout the years in group settings, we had said hi multiple times, we went to the same college, and we would say hi, you know, going to the dining commons, or wherever it would be on campus, I clearly remember, we, we would talk, in passing we were acquaintances and what did this girl say she was like oh hey um i don't know have we met before like i I may have met you before girl 
no, we have met before multiple times. And this is what I'm talking about when I say people don't even remember your name. People are calling you the wrong names. They barely remember you. Like, it sucks because in your mind, you're like, you remember all the instances with these people. You remember meeting these people. You remember talking to these people. And it's like, they treat you like you're nothing. They treat you like you didn't even exist and you're not worthy of any of their time or memory or anything. And it happens so much that honestly you just expect it it feels inevitable to to be invisible going through elementary middle school high school experiencing not being remembered over and over again being pushed to the side over and over again experiencing that so much eventually just makes you feel empty it makes you feel worthless it makes you feel like like if i wasn't here it wouldn't make a difference If I just disappeared one day, nobody would even notice. Because when I'm existing in the world now, there are a lot of times where people don't even notice. I make zero impact. And that's what feeling invisible all your life really makes you think at the end of the day, or at least for me. And it just sucks to feel worthless, to feel undeserving. And you you just sometimes start to accept the fact that oh maybe i'm just the lame friend that nobody needs maybe my personality is boring and unwanted in society maybe i just will never be able to develop true relationships where i'm like you know actually meaningful in somebody's life growing up i have experienced feeling invisible so many times for as long as i can remember middle school math class i would walk into class every day with my friend named Brittany, and the teacher would always stand outside the door and greet all of his students and every time every single day i walked into class with Brittany, the teacher would only greet Brittany, and he would pull her aside and have a conversation about whatever it was whether it was volleyball or tv shows or whatever he would pull her aside and talk to her leave me standing there not say a word to me and then i would just walk into class because i felt absolutely worthless i was like hello like the teacher wasn't even interested in talking to me i remember in high school i was on a sports team for a whole year and throughout the whole year my coach never bothered to remember my name not once. He would continuously ask me, oh, what's your name again? And the funny thing is, he worked especially close with me and my partner. So this sport was partner effort. So everyone on the team had a partner. I had a partner. And me and my partner had specific roles where the coach would work especially close with us. And I remember one day, we had a really big race. It was my first race and our team had lost. And it was a really emotional moment. Everyone was crying. Everyone felt defeated. And I remember standing with my partner and we were kind of reflecting on what had just happened. And then the coach comes over and he pulls my partner aside and he gives her an encouraging pep talk. And then he said, you know, the other girl too, your, your partner, like I forgot her name, whatever her name is tell her good job. That made me feel like I wasn't even human, like I wasn't deserving of anything. That moment really hurt me. Like I was already in distress because I was like, oh my God, I tried so hard for this race and like we lost. And then on top of that, to feel like worthless, like even more worthless, it's just like, I'm exhausted. If I'm going to be honest, like this is exhausting. And I do not want to be here right now. It's like it felt so horrible that I was the invisible partner and I didn't mean anything because we were my partner and I were putting in team effort. We had worked equally as hard, but I was thrown to the side. I was forgotten. And I think it's because, you know, I was just a little quieter than my partner was. My partner had a big personality. She was great, but that just wasn't my personality. I was, you know, I was quieter. I was a little more introverted, but I still spoke regardless of how much I spoke or how much I put how much effort I put in my coach never remembered me even in my high school English class my English teacher never remembered my name he would confuse me with the girl next to me 
every single day, called me the wrong name. Even in my yearbook, he wrote, Hey, Ruby. Like, that wasn't my name. Like, he knew he never remembered my name. And he almost made it as, like, an ongoing joke. But I think just experiencing this so much throughout life, it was, like, it wasn't funny to me. I'm sorry if I'm, like, a boring person, but it just makes you feel like... Like, you feel in your heart some kind of strain because it's like, oh, like, I'm going through this yet again. Like, I'm... I don't want it to happen, but I'm bracing for it to happen. I know you're going to forget my name, and I know I'm going to feel shitty, and all I can do is brace for this to happen. The thing is, with all of these experiences, I've remembered every single one. What I'm talking about now is maybe 2% of all of the times that I've felt invisible in life. And It's funny that all of these memories mean absolutely nothing to the people who've made us feel invisible. But they affect the person who feels worthless for the rest of their lives. The people who've felt invisible over and over again will never forget it. It just piles up and then it really just makes you think, maybe it's true. Maybe I am invisible and that's life. And then I oftentimes asked myself, why was I invisible, you know? And I think it's because, number one, I was an introvert. You know, a lot of people are introverts. A lot of us just like to process things in our heads before we speak out loud or like to listen into conversations without having to say so much. But that comes at the cost of being forgotten. You know what I mean? A lot of us, too, may have social anxiety, That might cause us to not speak out in group settings, but again, that comes at the cost of being forgotten. And I think, honestly, one of the reasons I was so invisible is because I blended in with everybody that looked like me. I'm just going to say that. Sometimes I see people on the streets and I'm like, oh my gosh, she looks exactly like me. Oh my gosh, lol, look, it's a mirror. Like, I make jokes about it, right? Because at this point, I'm so tired of being confused with every other girl that looks like me and yeah i just don't feel like an individual the thing about being invisible all your life is that being noticed becomes special even when it shouldn't be maybe that one time you get attention from this one person who's never noticed you it's like oh my gosh i'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life and it really shouldn't be that way let me just say that this is this is honestly That was my mindset growing up. I was like, oh my gosh, this person actually noticed me? Like, this is so special. Like, I feel noticed. I shouldn't let the fact that other people notice me validate my existence. I should be validating my own existence. Like, I am my own person and I can contribute to the world and I'm not nothing. But feeling invisible your whole life just makes you feel like nothing, makes you feel like you can't contribute. But that is not true i remember my freshman year there was this popular guy in my class and he would talk to me we had like six classes together and he would actually talk to me and i remember that basically validating my whole freshman year existence i was like oh my gosh like he's actually talking to me that means someone actually notices me like it's crazy and like no that's not healthy i guess basically lesson here is that don't let people make you feel validated just because they remember you like that's the bare minimum don't let other people make you feel validated or not validated like you are you you are a strong individual and i wish i could just tell myself that like back in high school because me now like it's tiring still being forgotten but but now i know that we are our own people we have our own minds We shouldn't let people who make us feel invisible bring us down because at the end of the day, we're in charge of our lives and we can choose how we want to deal with it. It really sucks to experience it throughout your whole life. But the only way to get past it is to get past your mindset of like, I am worthless, I am useless. No, we're our own people and we don't need other people to bring that negativity out of us. I will say that there are some byproducts of being invisible. Number one, you become extremely observant. Because you're so used to just staying in the background, listening into other people's conversations, you become really observant and really aware of 
what other people are thinking, how other people are feeling. You can see it in their facial expressions. You notice when some other person gets cut off and they want to say something. You can see when other people feel so passionate about saying something and are too scared to say it and they might open their mouths, but they don't. You 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 pick up on everyone's mannerisms and how that can contribute to like how they're feeling or when they might feel uncomfortable. It's like all of that. That's a byproduct of being invisible. You become an observer. And I think anger is another byproduct. You know, sometimes I would feel like retaliating. Sometimes I just wanted to scream or do something really dumb to just be like, oh, hello, I'm here. And so that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to reflect on feeling invisible because I know so many people feel this way too. I think now I'm just at the point, like I said many times, where I expect it and I've accepted it. And I guess when you accept things, it's a little bit easier. Um, So thank you for listening if you made it this far. I'm finally going to go eat breakfast because I am so hungry. I think I'm going to make an egg and like toast and eat some avocados or noodles or I I don't know. I'm just thinking about all the food that exists in the world right now. I'm gonna go eat. You please go eat. Please stay hydrated and I will see you next week with another episode of Young Adult Problems. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening even if it's just one person. We're just trying to figure out life together.